to call the regular meeting of Plain Township Board of Trustees April 13, 2021 to order. Everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome to all. Uh, first point of business, uh, Trustee Haas is uh, excused tonight. He is on a very intensive training four days for his employment, and uh, he's been pretty scarce over the last couple days because he's been busy in workshops and training sessions. So uh, that has us presenting the agenda. Does anyone have any corrections, additions, or deletions to the agenda? Perfect. If not, it will stand. Uh, first thing on the agenda is the Sheriff's Report. Lieutenant Carver, welcome. Good evening. We have the uh, March 2021 monthly report. Uh, 1,085 calls for service, a 15% increase from last year. 44 crashes, six injury crashes. Uh, alarms were down a little bit at 75. Significant increase in traffic stops uh, from last year, 285. Um, kind of in a thick one during the COVID last year, we really cut that down. So getting those numbers back up. 109 citations, 68 arrests, uh, 310 new patient checks, 793 security checks. Uh, detectives report, so 16 cases assigned, uh, two missing persons, one burglary, one breaking and entering, three thefts, three thefts, and two sex offenses. Have the uh, comparison March 2020 to 2021, uh, for the most person increases across the board. Uh, and then your March yearly format to 2014. I would point out, we've adjusted a little bit how we look at the calls for service. We see uh, 18 and 19 way up there. We started capturing our security checks in a different way and getting significantly higher numbers because we were getting a more accurate count. So we're trying to adjust for that in the calls for service and we have a separate category for security checks instead of having them in with the calls for service because it was really skewing that number. So when you look back, the numbers were a little bit higher. Um, we are trying to make some adjustments so we can get them what we think is a more accurate representation of routine calls for service and traffic stops as opposed to security checks, if that makes sense to you. Mm -hmm. Any questions about any of this? Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, so we do not have this scheduled on the agenda, but I think this is a good spot to put this in. Uh, we have someone who is here to speak to a possible appeal for a uh, citation for the Yardway site. So if you want to come up, state your name and address, please, for the fiscal officer. And then uh, just let her rip. Yep. Hey, my name's George Pagonis. I'm from Lewisville, Ohio. And I did some illegal dumping on April 3rd, which I admitted. Got uh, copies of the police report. I only got three. That's okay. They, um, they're the most important yeah. reading. She'll get one also. Thank you. And there's in there. Okay. I think I might get one of yours. Okay. For the so, do you want to then? Well, I have dumped in the past prior to the gated dump two, three years ago. Okay, so you were here when the site was open. Oh, there were no security, there was no gates. So you were using the site when it was actually open. Correct. Okay. 
So, January 1st, my brother was not able to clean up anymore. Committed suicide. My 85-year-old mother found him. Not an alcoholic, not a druggie, just a lot of stuff on his plate. So, I guess I thought everything was status quo at the dump. I didn't read the rules on the size. And after seeing, I admitted, you know, and, it, and I offered to clean it up. And whoever, I don't know his name, he said, uh, I was going to get a citation. So, yes, I was at fault for not reading the regulations. How many, uh, you know how many trips that you made in there that day? Or whatever? Maybe three. Okay. Maybe four. Yeah, we have it on record you had seven. That day? Okay, I don't know. No, that was actually yeah, between two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just uh, just trying to take care of things at home, and like I said, I thought, you know, I knew lumber, trash, plastic was not acceptable several years ago. So I just figured it was well, the rules. The, the rules actually have pretty much remained the same. Well, I don't remember the six inch diameter. Yeah. Because everybody was dumping logs. So you're saying in the seven times that you went over a two day period, you never read the directions or the rules at all that was no, I didn't. clear as day. Okay. And the card that you used, you said, is? From my mom's residence. Okay. Was the debris from her residence? Yes. And is she able to come here to testify to that, that you did it for her? I don't think she's mentally capable. Okay. Could you bring pictures to the next meeting that showed that the work was done on your mom's residence? I mean, there, there's still some brush there. I mean, I don't yeah, know. but I mean, wouldn't we see? Well, I didn't take pictures as I was cleaning up. No. Yeah, but now wouldn't there be like well, the trees were cut down? Wouldn't there be stumps and there would be some kind of evidence that you did all that work if it took seven trips? Well, that seven trips weren't all logs. Leaves, branches, put the logs on top. So, but we'd still be able to see that they were from that property. We've done that. The board, not we, the board has done that in the past where somebody's cleaned up a property in Plain Township, a family mm -hmm. member, and then we, the, you know, go out, take a look, verify, you know what, that really was from that property. Let's, let well, the actually, board know she, that. Has, she has two properties now. In Plain Township? Because she's the executrix of my brother's property. Are they both in Plain Township? Yes, they are. Okay. I mean, so would you allow us to come out and sure. take a look to see that it was that? Sure, or? I offered to do that on Saturday. The, the, the. Well, he doesn't have the authority to do that. Mm -hmm. the one that. I mean, I could recommend to the board that we get pictures, get some more information, and bring it back at the next meeting. Actually, there's a few hours left there. But that's up to you guys. Yeah, I, I'm not ready to roll on this yeah. right now as to whether we're going to do waiving of the fee. I'm, I'm not ready to do that. I still have to talk to a couple other people. But. Yeah, and that would give time to get those pictures. Yes. Is it okay if we come out on those properties and take pictures? What, sure. What's the address of that second property? 1124 Easton. And the first one, just so I have 6260 it. 6260 um, Lieutenant Carver, would you mind? No, that way. Yeah, we'll no talk. Permission. We'll, we'll talk afterwards. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll, we'll Actually, I got some pictures. Of afterwards, on both properties. I'll get this to you, Oh, sorry. All right. Well, this gives the board time to go out and and look. If, if you'll take pictures, my suggestion to the board would be let's hold until the next meeting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to just yeah. automatically wait this right now. Um, is there anything else that you want to present? 
No, just our family has a lot in their play right now, and it, you know, I mean, three months isn't a long time for what we've gone through. Okay. And I think you presented some information to the board that we can check up on, and then just to have that for them, I think that's I've got a death good. certificate here if you'd like. No, gosh, no. 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 I'm very yeah. sorry. Yeah. We're so sorry for all that personal hard uh, time I, I that just you're was going through. To but yep. but take care of we just we have to be so protective of this. I understand? You don't want commercial. You know, I understand once that. we start seeing all this stuff unfold, then we're going to issue a citation. And uh, to tell you the truth, if I know. I got an outdoor wood burn. I still got on the burn. That's well, I don't do. say yeah. that. Okay. It's an outdoor no... furnace, that would be okay. Yeah. But if, well, outdoor furnace. Yeah. Yes, okay. You, you don't want to just open burn it. No, no. Because that would be it's, illegal. It's, 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 and the fire department with the, it's with a, the it's branch of the EPA is going to come. No, it's it's a, it's a yeah. Yeah. And their fines are a lot bigger than ours. They're started by 10000 so we have a meeting in two weeks from today. Anybody know what that date is? The 27? Uh, I don't know that it's necessary for you. Yeah, I don't know that you have to come back. There. Unless okay. you hear from us, uh, you won't have to come back. But, okay. uh, and do we have your phone? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, Eric's got everything. If Eric has it, I don't want you putting it on record for me. Is it on no, the it's not a I think Eric. Eric, are you able to retrieve a phone number? If it's on the citation? Yeah. I do not see it. I don't it. see it on here. Just so we can give them. You know what, will you just write it down for us? Yeah, I don't. On, uh, just, you know, yeah. right below here. Yeah, and don't then, give it to us in a public meeting because no. this yeah, is Yeah, right. Do you mind writing your number yeah. down there? And that way you're not we announcing it to everybody. Thank you. to amend resolution number 19-489 it's a home rule chapter 1500 use of yard waste drop off area So I will move on unfinished business number one. I'll second. I moved and seconded discussion. Okay, we this is the opportunity we had to um, just kind of update this after the last year of really doing this on our own. The first big update is G. We put in the cost of the cart, $25 per year, and then the replacement cost and also put in the language under G about the revocation of the card with misuse. Under H, I need to note that we need to take out the word to, that's a typo, and I can fix that before it goes out to the press. Um, the other issue and I is item E, and this is, of course, up to the board's discretion, is uh, the changing this, the fine to $100 for the first violation, <coughs> $500 for each. Subsequent, I think if that is in place, we'll see a lot less people coming in to have that waived, and maybe it seems a little more realistic for a first-time fine. The board can say yes, no, or, or, or decide whatever fee they'd like to see in place. Um, also talks about you have to show proof of residency. That's in there, and these are the changes to the home rule. Once adopted, it goes in effect after 30 days. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we had talked about 
changing this process, maybe to streamline it a little bit. Uh, so this isn't actually the first time that we had seen something along these lines. I Correct. think it's it, it's probably a little more fair, uh, and you know, just for the sake of the public understanding. Um, you know, we're still seeing things with the yard waste process, how we do the violations, you know, how how we do the cards, uh, and we're. We're still updating as we go, because every now and then we're confronted with something that we haven't been confronted with before, so we have to edit or alter or, or whatever, and actually tonight was one of them. So uh, I am uh, I, I'm good with this, uh, but um, you know, we just need, I, I know one of the issues when it comes to the actual card dispensing is whoever we give that card to mm -hmm. has to be the person that went online to register for it. Okay? And I and I realize that, you know, the older generation, and I'm one of them by the way, uh, has a little difficulty gravitating through uh, the uh, internet, but uh, they could come in and get it, right? I mean, yeah. we still offer that up, so. We'll mail it if they say yeah, I can't yeah. come in. We've mailed yeah, it. Yeah. John, you, or Trustee Sabo, you bring up a good point. Under item F, it says plain touch of resident only. I can add that the person picking up the card shall be the owner of the card. Yeah. Right I, there. I, I just would feel better because I, we, are, we are passionate about this service still being available to township residents. And in any situation where it starts to get out of hand because of fraud or people that are getting cards from somebody and using them illegally or bringing in illegal stuff, the last thing we want is to have our contractor that we are dealing with say, we will no longer take your yard waste. Because what we know is there's not a whole lot of other people out there that will. So it's not a matter of, we're being sticklers because we don't want to lose the service. Eric, how many cards have we actually sold now? 2,500? Is that a fair number? I think we're right around 26 to 26, oh, 25-ish. Wow. Right so, so we got 2,600 residents that have said, this service is so valuable to us, we're going to pay $25 a year for a car just to keep it going. And we can't let 2,600 cardholders down because of a few people who somehow think they can abuse or figure out the system. Mm -hmm. So I don't see this to be that tough, but, uh, you know, you know, as far as what those rules say, we just have we have to be sticklers about. It. Yeah. Look. I agree. I couldn't have said it any better. And uh, the price, you know, the cost for the fine, I agree with the hundred dollars seems a little bit more reasonable and the hundred for each violation after that. But we have to ensure that we do keep it to plain touch of residents only. How is the language on F if I have plain touch of residents only and Eric help me clean this up if you the the person picking up the card shall be the owner of the card and their driver's license or state ID shall match their plain township residence. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. No. Okay. That is a good point. And I do thank the board because you knew that the last year was the first year and there were going to be tweaks and changes because it was brand new. And I feel like the board really has given a lot of thoughtful consideration to this. And I appreciate your time. Um, really... Well, you know, thinking this out, thinking this through, because the last are, thing we want is earth and wood saying, we told you, we can't have stumps, we can't have logs, we really don't want this yard waste, we're doing you a good deed, we want to be good neighbors, and, and losing the site. And if I could dovetail just one or two items to that, um, obviously, you know, I believe we've created one of the nicest yard waste sites in the entire county, and that is a collaborative effort from obviously the administrative office issuing all of the cards, the road department, 
Now, the road department's uh, commitment down there isn't just to clean up on a weekly basis. They continue to weekly do site improvements. I mean, literally for two years, we've been improving that site week after week, uh, month after month. The law enforcement branch has been um, second to none. We're able to uh, get them into action quickly and stop any, uh, any illegal use of that site. So I think we're doing a really good job down there. I applaud everyone involved. And Parks as well. Parks has helped us keep that tidy, you know, just planted some um, wildflowers in the back so that we can you know, have less erosion. I mean, literally a collaborative effort from everyone involved, finances involved, every department. It's definitely a collaborative effort. Yeah, because that's another agency that we have to make sure that we are in compliance with. So They inspect us there yeah. every year. Absolutely. And we just couldn't have dirt back there. People might think, why are there wildflowers? We, we have to reduce stormwater runoff. We don't want them to close us down either. So... <coughs> Anything else? Roll call. <laughs> Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Okay. I think that ends unfinished business. Okay, unfinished business. Thank you. Item number one is a resolution to purchase land located at 7795 Middle Branch Street, Northeast Canton, 44721, in an amount not to exceed 65000 that will be sent via ACH upon closing and be paid from Fund 01B02, be it further resolved by the Plain Touch of Board of Trustees to authorize Lisa Campbell to execute and sign any and all documents for the purchase and closing of said land. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion. This is the property that we, I don't know, 10 years ago took a, a, a part of it through eminent domain because we had flooding issues, we had parking issues. This is an opportunity and the funding does come from the general fund to purchase that property to we still have parking issues. We still have issues that need to be maintained there, and um, it was a very fair price. It will not be sixty-five thousand dollars. It'll be closer to sixty. I just did it bigger because until we have the closing date, I don't have the final cost. So um, I think it's just a very good purchase um, that will really help the township. It's the last piece of that puzzle was squared off. It is. Yeah. Anything else? Roll call. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Thank you. That uh, takes us to the fiscal officer's report. Mr. Wolf. Thank you. Fiscal officer number one is a resolution to authorize the payment of pending awards in the amount of $326,474.93. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Fiscal officer number two is a resolution to authorize payment of regular payroll in an amount not to exceed two hundred fifty thousand. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mrs. Harless. Yes. Mr. Sabo. Yes. Fiscal officer number three is a resolution to authorize payment for the following medical claims. So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mrs. Harless. Yes. Mr. Sabo. Yes. Fiscal officer number four is the financial report for March. Any specific questions or anything? See Tom. Fiscal officer number five is a resolution to authorize the following transfers of expenses to the coronavirus relief fund. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded discussion. So this is just continuing with our COVID funding. Correct, yeah. Which is something that we hope we're going to get in the next round. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some additional. Yeah. yeah, it is, I mean, it is dwindling. Yeah. Um, so we are hopeful. But what we're doing right here, uh, we've already received, and it's just a sign that it's being used yes. responsibly. Correct. Anything else? Roll call. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Fiscal officer number six is a resolution to authorize a refund as follows for overpayments for EMS as requested by Ohio Bill. Uh, so moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sabo? Yes. That concludes fiscal officer report. Thanks, Tom. That takes us to administrator. Thank you. Item number one is a resolution to pay the 2021 Stark County Regional Planning Commission dues 
not to exceed three thousand dollars. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Discussion. Anything significant to this? No. Just a normal. Just thing our to normal. Do. All right. Roll call. Mrs. Harless. Yes. Mr. Salo. Yes. Item number two is a resolution to approve an authorized payment to Hall Public Safety Uplifters in an amount not to exceed nine thousand twenty-four dollars and thirty-nine cents to equip the uh, for equipment purchase for the twenty twenty Sheriff Cruisers from the Police Fund 09807. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Samo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. And then it's the administrator report. Thank you. That takes us to fire. Chief Schellenberger is in a training session tonight for a live firm instructor. And with us tonight we have Chief Reed. Thank you. Uh, fire department number one is the fire department's monthly report for March of 2021. You did get the uh, charger recently down there, the old charger. Yes. From the sheriff's yes. office. Yeah, and we're we're set to have training with that uh, in May. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It was not safe to sell that vehicle. Okay, number two. Uh, fire department number two is uh, to uh, change the status of Mason Pierpont from part-time firefighter uh, basic EMT to uh, part-time uh, paramedic firefighter uh, with an increase to $17 an hour without benefits. Uh, wages are set by the resolution and uh, he's successfully completed paramedic training with Star County and the state of Ohio. Uh, so I'll move on fire department number two. I will second. Been moved and seconded. Uh, he's, uh, he's worked hard to get that. Yes. Yes. At every level he's never, he's never given up. Yeah. He, he, he's, Absolutely. He's worked really hard to get those so I'm real happy. When I first saw this, I was real happy to see mm -hmm. that he uh, got that successfully completed, too. Yeah. Anything else? Roll call. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Mr. Sibley? Yes. Thanks. That's Chief. all for the fire department. And I'd ask that that last attachment be removed from um, the agenda. That I'm not sure why that was attached. Okay. That's just on our referee. Yes. Okay. Um, so that takes us to Roche. Thank you. Uh, I see no. Item number one is the monthly report for March. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them. I'm sweeping the streets. It's that time of the year. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Plows are all put away, right? Yeah, everything came off the trucks um, Monday. Yeah. Okay. If it snows, it's your fault then. No, it's not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you to take the plow. Off. <laughs> <That's sorry. laughs> oh, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. yeah well, it, it looks good. Yeah. Item number two is a resolution by the Plain Township Board of Trustees to direct the Plain Township Highway Superintendent to place an advertisement for bids for the. Plain Township 2021 Paving and Road Repair Project in a newspaper in Star County in general circulation in the township on April 15th and April 22nd in a repository with the bids to be received on April 29th and opened at 1.30 p.m. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Stabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. I guess I should have asked in, in discussion. Um, we're, we're, we're early again this year, right? Yes. Nice. Yes. Yeah. That was that was huge last year. Yeah. We've already talked to a couple of you know people that we know will bid on. Nice. They're anxiously waiting to get it out there. So. Yeah, I think that's a good time of the year to do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that takes us to zoning, Mr. Ferrara. Thank you, sir. Well, first item on the agenda is a monthly report. And if I could, I'm just very excited about a couple things. If you look at the new residential construction, yeah. amazing. And then the businesses, the new businesses, there's uh, three new certificate of conformances. And I just want to point out that uh, we will be receiving Burlington at 3975 Everhard. They're coming to us. 
So we just are having such an explosion in the home growth and businesses that Plain Township really is the, the place to to come. Absolutely. We almost have to be leading in new new construction. We have been. Aren't we? Yes. we have been the last yeah. couple years. Yeah. Okay. Nice job, Tom. Good job, Tom. Um, Item number two is a resolution to declare item A as a nuisance abatement. Uh, I will move on zoning 2A. I will second. I moved and seconded discussion. Roll call. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. And that's all for Thanks, the Thanks, Tom. That takes us to parks. Thank you. One and another item tonight's our monthly report. And I'd like to take a moment on Rob's also to point a couple things out. Um, we have closed, not we, Rob and his team, the indoor or the, uh, the outdoor spring soccer leagues with 43 teams. And that's a Plain Township program. The high before that was 24. So, I mean, they work hard to bring in, you know, what they can, where they can. So, um, I, that's huge. It's, again, it's like every other service that we provide. Once people start realizing that we have the best, they all want to be here. Right. So, yeah. you know, it's win-win it's for everybody. Well, and even they closed session three of the senior fitness class with an all-time high, too. So, um, and, and that's a nice partnership that Rob created where... Um, he's working with the YMCA, so we're not expending our resources. They're using our facilities for our seniors, but um, just a nice job. And it gets the seniors out there, yeah. 32 participants. That's fantastic. Yeah, and if you've read anything, you've read uh, some articles about how important it is more than ever to get in your parks and to get outside. So, nice job, Rob. Mm -hmm. I know everybody I talk to is excited about the pickleball club. Yeah. It's so coming. Matt goes out there repairing today. As well. I know. It's yeah. coming. <laughs> You're right. I, 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 I think that's going to be huge. Uh, I, I think there's so much, you know, futuristically that, that that's going to build on. Yeah, and kudos to Rob. We're reusing some, an amenity we have in place, I, I repurposing drove, it. I drove through Stadium Park Saturday, mm -hmm. and they were all full. Yep. Yeah. People were playing pickleball on every court. Yeah. I have a feeling it's going to end up being. If our ODNR yeah. grant wins out, we'll, we'll create almost six different courts out there for the... For the yeah, we are applying for oh, an ODNR yeah. grant to, to build more, so we'll see. It's not something the Parks Department or General Hunt can order or, or pay for, but we do aggressively go after grants. Uh, Rob, I know it's not on here, but can you give us just... You and I have been working together sure. every time something unfolds. Just give us a quick overview of the restroom. restroom. We met with uh, the, the architects last week, um, gave some some uh, direction on on the type of brick, color brick, just so that it deals with the weathering well, deals with the blow from the fields across the way well. Um, asked for uh, some sort of color palette to look at a different color roof that isn't gaudy but stands out so you can point your, your young children and families from even across the facility to it. It just gives a good landmark. and. and still blends in well with what's around that facility. Uh, we have communicated with our civil engineers as to the needs of, of specific uh, measurements so that the architect can turn around and help us prepare the bid. So far, so good. Did I miss anything, John? Uh, just security lights. We just did that at the last minute. We had two security lights on either side. So it'll just be the fault. And we did find out that we have to add Handicap parking. Yeah. Yes. Because that's part of ADA. So we're going to have to do one of two things either put that in the bid or do that in house. But either way we do it, uh, we really can't do it yet until they very specifically tell us where it has to go, what the minimum size has to be, and how it has to officially be marked. But that showed up in the last drawing and that. Did. You know, we did discuss and that's the first that. time we actually heard of anything about it. Yep. Yep. And that's all that ADA stuff. I mean, that's why you hire those guys to be compliant. So. I thought the crushed limestone was compliant, but maybe for parking. They said not. lately. That's a good point. They said lately they tried to use that crushed 
limestone and even the decompressed asphalt, and they, they had some trouble with it. Yeah, I'm sure place. they but, did, yeah, but with it, parking. I don't remember if it was RPC or start building. I don't remember. Somewhere along the line, it, it didn't pass. Yeah, uh, that makes TV. sense. Yeah, because we asked about that, and he said, uh, I said, they've been having trouble with the actual surface yeah. being able to be maneuverable with, you know, some of the wheel things. That, that makes so, sense. I, I can uh, see that. And then officially, once they get the location of that, then the approach from that parking area has to be appropriate mm -hmm. with a very specific minimum grade to it. Yes, okay. So... Uh, they're working on all that. All we got to do is just monitor it. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, thank you. Um, anything else? Uh, <coughs> the trustees, Brooke, do you have anything? No, I don't. Uh, Tom? No concerns. Uh, Eric? Anything? Uh, that takes us to the approval of minutes for the 23rd. I will move on that approval. Second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. And then we have approval of the minutes from the 25th. I will make the motion. I will second that. It's been moved and seconded. Discussion. Roll call. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. Uh, having no further business, I will make a motion to adjourn at 6.37 p.m. I'll second. Been moved and seconded. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Sabo? Yes. Mrs. Harless? Yes. 